Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. This is not financial advice. The information on this channel is provided for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes. Every crypto enthusiast is well aware of the volatility rate of cryptocurrency. Sometimes this volatility reduces mainstream participation and limits its need as a usable exchange platform for goods and services. To overcome this issue, stablecoins are used as a low-volatility version of a cryptocurrency. By backing the currency with some stablecoins, the volatility can be reduced efficiently. Here the question arises, what the heck are stablecoins? How do they actually work? Well, stablecoins are generally attached to another asset with a stable value or backed by an algorithm. Investors looking to buy or sell non-currency goods and services may experience a considerable price change during or after the transaction. At this stage, stablecoins level the playing field without any requirement for either party to change back into fiat. The history of stablecoins isn't very long. They began to rise in popularity after the 2017 obsession, when Bitcoin rose to almost $21,000 and then fell by more than 50%. Investors started looking for some less volatile currencies. But the ultimate successful journey of Bitcoin that started its journey in 2008 and reached peaks of value within 10 years led to the Federal Reserve to announce an investigation into its own digital coin along with the governments and central banks of other countries. For all those investors who want to keep their assets in the crypto space, Stable coins are very helpful in numerous ways. People who have experienced the exchange process of crypto with fiat currency know very well that it's a kind of hectic and expensive way. By using stable coins, an investor can get both a stable asset within the crypto space with an advantageous transactional speed. There are many types of stable coins, such as commodity backed stable coins, which are stabilized with hard assets such as gold or real estate. They actually play a vital role in stabilizing the market prices of real estate and gold. The second type is fiat-backed stablecoins, which are backed by fiat currencies like the Chinese yuan, which are backed by fiat currencies like the Chinese yuan and precious metals like silver or platinum. They are also named as fiat collateralized stablecoins. In this case, a bank or central issuer holds an amount of fiat currency in reserve. In return for these reserves, they issue a proportionate amount of tokens. The third type is Sanyarid-style stablecoins or algorithmic stablecoins, which are backed by an algorithm process. In this process, an algorithmic stablecoin system will reduce the token stock if the price falls below the price of the fiat currency it tracks and if the price surges. They continue adding new tokens into circulation to shrink the value of the stablecoin. The fourth type is crypto-backed stablecoins, in which users lock their cryptocurrency into a contract, which issues the token. Later, to get their collateral back, they pay stablecoins back into the same contract. This also plays a vital role in preventing market volatility. Let's have a look at some of the best stablecoins based on their market trends and stability. DM Formerly known as Libra, it is a stablecoin that is originally conceived by the powerful worldwide social media platform, Facebook. It hasn't launched yet. Still, it had more psychological impact than any other stablecoin. When Facebook intended a cryptocurrency in 2019, it was known as a global coin or Facebook coin, and the project was formally named as Libra. After almost a year, the association rebranded it by giving it the name Diem and the association is now called Diem Association. Some bigger governments like China are now exploring their own crypto-inspired digital currencies. As they're worried about Diem's competition, because Facebook is a multinational company with billions of users from across the globe. At the start, officials said that Diem would be backed by numerous currencies, including the euro and the US dollar. But due to global regulatory concerns, it is now planning to focus on developing multiple stablecoins, each backed by a separate national currency. Enthusiasts are expecting that it would be officially released very soon. Tether Tether is undoubtedly one of the oldest stablecoins and ranked sixth in the list of today's top cryptocurrencies. 
It was launched in 2014, and within seven years, it has become one of the most valuable cryptocurrencies overall by market capitalization. The main goal of Tether is to facilitate crypto users by moving money between exchanges rapidly to take advantage of arbitrage opportunities. As the price of cryptocurrencies differ on two exchanges, traders can make more money on this discrepancy. Today, it has garnered many Chinese importers stationed in Russia who used to send millions of dollars worth of value across the border, bypassing strict capital controls in China. USD Coin With a market cap of $11.3 billion, USD Coin is one of the most stable coins jointly managed by the cryptocurrency firms Circle and Coinbase through the Center Association. Based on market capitalization, it is ranked as the 14th largest coin, as it is managed by Coinbase and cryptocurrency firm Circle. You can easily redeem your coin for just $1. Not only this, but the traders and eligible customers can even earn rewards for every USD coin they hold. DAI DAI is a stable coin on the Ethereum blockchain, which runs on the marker DAO protocol. It was created in 2015 and pegged to the US dollar. Its market cap is even more than $3.5 billion and backed by Ether token. There's no central authority trusted with control of the system as Marker DAO intends for DAI to be decentralized. Although there are still some problems with this groundbreaking model, but if the smart contracts underpinning Marker DAO don't work exactly as anticipated, on such basis, they were gamed last year, leading to losses of $8 million. Binance With a market cap of more than $7 billion, Binance is a stablecoin backed by the U.S. dollar and was launched in September 2017. The aim was to provide a Binance native alternative to other leading stablecoins. Every coin worth $1 means you can redeem your coin against a single U.S. dollar. At the start of the project, the company established its headquarters in China. But due to the Chinese government ban on cryptocurrency, it has now shifted to Japan. The new headquarter is located in Malta. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment down below with your choice of the best stablecoin. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of the next video. Talk to you next time.